Now it's time to turn our attention to the finalists in the industry category. Brian Irwin grew a family business into the largest indigenous bakery in Northern Ireland. What started in 1912 as a grocery shop now incorporates retail, wholesale and a construction arm. Challenges are part of being in business. Challenges are not new. So let's see what happened before. Let's see how other people got out of them. Let's learn. Speed, flexibility and agility are very, very important. Uh, sometimes uh, we, we say that uh, trying to do things the best way is an enemy of progress. Best is the enemy of better. Dominic Walsh leads the MSO group which specialises in the design, manufacture and supply of packaging, folding cartons, labels and presentation boxes. The people who I work with, the people I play rugby with, the people I play golf with, uh, would uh, undoubtedly say, yes, I am a competitive person. It's not winning at all costs, but I do like to win. My strongest bit of advice I would give anybody is invest in the people. Invest in the best people, reward them incredibly well, share success with them, I am a very strong people person. I enjoy people, I enjoy working with people, I enjoy communicating with people. And one of my feelings, I'm told, is that I tell people too much. But if you tell people too much, you can't be accused of keeping them in the dark. When John O'Neill joined retailer Heaton's in 86, the company had 11 stores. Under his stewardship, that has grown to 58, and they are set to expand into Europe. Being involved with uh, initially a quite a small business and having many ups and downs and many hills to climb. You know, once you've done it three or four times, you, you realise that if, if you work hard enough at it that it's possible to conquer the problems. Learn how to lose. Very simply, learn how to lose. Because in business, you can't win all the time. And there are certain times where it's better to lose the, the battle and walk away and come back another day. And so many people in business don't know when to stop. And if you learn how to lose, people will come back and do business with you another day. Sammy Leslie transformed Castle Leslie from ancestral home to thriving business, including an equestrian centre, activity holidays and a charitable trust valued at 300 million euro. I always knew I had the balls to follow what I wanted to do. I, most of the time I had no idea how I was going to get there and I think a lot of the time that's what an entrepreneur does. They know what the dream is and then they figure out the path of how to get there. We were always brought up with the belief that the, there's no such thing really as ownership, it's guardianship. It's not about the me, it's about you know the entity that is Castle Leslie and the living, breathing, evolving estate that it is. And I'm very aware I'm only here for a short time. I mean, there's over a thousand years of recorded history of the family and hopefully there'll be another thousand more. Stirring words there from Sammy Leslie. A thousand years, Sammy. Never let it be said that Irish entrepreneurs only think in the short term. Now let's meet the next four finalists in the industry shortlist. Edward Conroy's Westland Horticulture is a brand leader in Ireland and the UK, selling more than 30 million compost products last season. I never worked for anyone else, so I don't have that experience. Maybe I'm missing something, but I, I, I've never worked for anybody. I've always worked for myself, so um, I, I'm happy doing that, and I suppose I'm going to continue doing that. I think on a, on, on a personal note, yeah, I do fear failure because that drives you on. In our business, we encourage people to make decisions. We don't mind if people make mistakes as long as they're able to correct them and see and benefit by that mistake. Gerald Cleary took over the family dairy Glenisk in 1995 and turned it into a fully organic producer using 90% of the organic milk produced on the island. My dad has been the role model in my life because we are following him in his footsteps. What encouraged me to keep going is the passion that has been instilled in me from an early life. The passion, the vision of an organic dairy company succeeding, innovating new products, new ideas, bringing them to the marketplace, seeing how the customers enjoy our range of organic dairy products. That's what keep me, keeps me going. Michael Taggart started out as a builder, but has grown Taggart Holdings into a vibrant international property development company with interests in the UK, Eastern Europe and New Zealand. Having gone to London in the early 80s and 
seen how the rest of the world lived or part of the world lived, um, I decided I want some of that. It's not hard to say to yourself you're going to do better if you don't have anything. I suppose the most difficult challenge was in the beginning trying to make people believe in you. When you're just turned 19 years of age and you decide that you're going to go out and start building houses, it uh, seems a bit of a way out idea. And uh, even I would have to agree with that today. But I believed in it from the beginning and, um, and we kept at it and we succeeded. In 1981, Lord Rana came to Belfast with no job. Today, Andrus House has assets in excess of £100 million in the hospitality, leisure and property sectors. Society should not condemn failures. Life is not always smooth. I started my business career in Belfast with a small cafe in 66. Then within three years, we had tremendous success. And then the troubles really started. So two of my restaurants were burnt or bombed within four weeks of each other, in November and December 71. But we persevered, and I'm, I'm glad we did, and we succeeded against all odds. So to overcome all that, and then to be recognized for your efforts, yes, I am, I'm very proud, very happy. As she joins us, to reveal the Industry Entrepreneur of the Year, please give a warm welcome to Maeve Donovan of the Irish Times. From solid foundations, our next winner built a family enterprise into a world-class business. The 2007 Industry Entrepreneur of the Year is Michael Taggart. Michael Taggart may have started small, but he always thought big. For building a world-class property company from a standing start, he is this year's Industry Entrepreneur of the Year. Wow. It's an uh, absolute honour and pleasure to have uh, received this. And uh, I'd like to thank Ernest and Young, um, for giving me the opportunity of going to Haiti. And uh, I'd also like to thank everybody in our business and uh, my brother John, um, who's helped to make it such a successful business. Thank you. Big congratulations, Michael Taggart. 2007 Industry Entrepreneur Award. Big Bull of Moss, ladies and gentlemen.